Most people are familiar with a hate crime based on what we hear about that makes the news line or the news in time for the 11 o'clock news hour. Like when people blow up different spaces and places of people with different predilections or preferences in sexual orientation. We also sometimes hear about hate crimes against religious people. For example, a Muslim's top knot has been cut off. That is a hate crime. A person who is Jewish's beard has been cut off. That is a hate crime. Whether it's done when they're cognizant or whether it's not, doesn't matter. It's that someone chose to interfere with the person's fashion statement and personal preferences for their beard. As a pagan priest, I can tell you that I've had my beard cut many times by immoral people who hate of my life, who hate my gender, who hate my religion, who hate my faith, who hate my situation, and the liars of America like to play games that are predatory. So from the pagan perspective, what we see most of all is law enforcement networks passing along information that most of us would consider private and medical in nature and giving it out to people who practice hate. They practice hate by thinking that if they pay something in terms of money, money or gifting, to someone like me or like you that they have the right to do things to you in a selective process without your consent or your permission. It's likened to almost rape where the person is asleep and someone enters their home and tries to do something with them immorally and sexually. So when you disrobe someone to take their body's photographs, when you shave their genitalia without their consent because you drug them, when you shave their manly body hair that they got from their late father's estate, how dare you think that you're holy? In America, we have rights, and our rights are to the privacy of our naked body. And my rights and your rights are no different. But a person who is willing to do that, even if they consider themselves a lawfully trained, certified medical practitioner of a nursing background or an RN or what they call a uh, nurse practitioner that is almost a doctor but almost too lazy to get certain other certifications or just can't pass the test or can't cut it or a PhD level of any kind who does that has aided and abetted the law. What I mean by aided is they've aided a hate crime to be established and they've abetted baited the law because they have violated federal law on almost every level with regard to a person's documentation and the rights to their own biology and their own privacy of every aspect of their cellular and external health. It is highly immoral that we have this continuity of care program going across our nation. What that means is that you will never again get another second or third opinion on what you need for your life. The dyke bitch lesbians of America want to run around in their butch clothing and tell you, me, and everybody how to live. No different than the Muslims and the Hispanics and the Chinese and the Spics and whatever the fuck you call all these foreigners that weren't actually born here, who can barely speak our language, that want to abuse you here. In life, we have moments of time to speak the truth, and the truth is that marvelous old gentlemen drive cool hummers down the street but are they going to help me or you in a peak? I don't think so. You don't have the right to pay for a peak. I once saw that advertised on the college campus sidewalk, and I couldn't believe it. We are an immoral society trying to fight back for morality. And morality says we start with the foundation of faith, which established our great nation. If your country has no faith, no offense, but you do not belong here. I'm going to say it again. According to our Constitution, we do not have to tolerate you here. The love of your life may not be the love of my life, but if they came in from a nation that has no faith, and in Japan they have plenty of faith, that we don't need you here. American life is American life. And American life says I have a right as a United States citizen to my paperwork, my personhood, and my property. This is not about paganism. This is about you saying that you think you have the right to lie, steal, and cheat me out of those fundamental rights underneath the United States Constitution and what our military fights for throughout the rest of the world in third world impoverished nations where dictators abound 
and ruin human life and rape women and destroy life. 